So for me, I grew grew up in Dearborn my entire, lived in Dearborn my entire life. And the story of Dearborn was always told from an outside perspective. The community never really had narrative control over what was happening in the city. So I grew up with stories hearing Dearborn called Dearbornistan, the largest high school in Dearborn called Hezbollah High, and just completely and totally not the world that I saw and lived and breathed every day. And so my co-founder, um, Rima and I started doing a series of community coffee chats where women in the community, we would post up a topic and women would come and we would talk about certain things because we didn't have community spaces and we didn't have narrative power over our stories. So then what happened was we figured out, okay, only 15 to 20 women can come every week. We need to get to a point where it's more accessible because this story and these spaces are, are something that our community needs so badly. Um, so podcasting was actually such an interesting thing that kind of came across our radar and people were telling us anybody can make a podcast and that posed to be true because neither one of us studied journalism, neither one of us studied media. At the time, <laughs> Rima was getting her master's um, in business at Michigan. I was working for the public health department at Wayne County. So it was just like completely and totally not the, the journalistic um, route for either of us, but it was creating a space for the community and then just seeing the community really, really, really take hold of the stories we were able to, to create um, and just even take hold of the platform. So I definitely did not have a conventional journalistic route, never thought I was gonna be doing something like this, but always had this deep love of storytelling. Um, and I've always been a community activist too. So it, it kind of makes sense. <laughs>